In sardines, the players are workers at the sardine cannery, and they are competing to get the most recognition to become Employee of the Month. Throughout the game, players will be taking turns collecting sardines or completing sardine orders to gain recognition points. The player at the end of the game with the most recognition points is the winner. During setup, the first thing you need to do is find the rule cards. Place these cards nearby in case you need to reference them during play. The next thing you need to do is separate the playing cards into two different piles. There are two types of cards, sardines cards, sardines order cards. You'll know which is which because they are labeled in the back of the cards. After which, you will shuffle each of these decks separately. Then from the top of the sardines deck, you will deal two cards to each player. In this game, we'll be playing an imaginary two player game. So I've already dealt the cards to both players. Keep in mind to keep these cards hidden from your opponent, but you may look at them freely as you wish. After each player has their two starting sardine cards, what you need to do is you need to place five sardine cards on the table within reach of all players from the top of the sardine deck. Then you'll place a sardine deck on the table near these five cards face down and then you'll leave enough space for a discard pile because while you play the game you will be discarding sardine cards. Then you'll be placing some sardine order cards face up on the table. The amount you place depends on the amount of players you have. You will always be placing one sardine order card face up on the table per player plus one extra card. So in this example we're playing an imaginary two player game so I will place one two, that's one for each player, then I will be placing a third because it is one for each player, plus one. Next, you'll place the starting order card on the table within reach of all players. Then you will be choosing a start player. The starting player is the player who most recently ate canned foods. In sardines, play moves clockwise with each player taking a turn performing one of two of the available actions. One action that is available to the players is to gather sardines. The second action that is available to players is completing an order. Let's say player one chooses to take the gather sardine option. To gather sardines, a player is allowed to take up to two sardines from the available sardines on the table. There are two types of sardine cards. Some of them have a single sardine on them and some of them have two sardines on them. So if a player takes a single card with two sardines on it, they're not able to take another card that turn. Any sardines taken that turn goes into the player's hand. If a player takes a single sardine, they're able to take another sardine on that turn because they could have two sardines during each gathering phase. But as you take each card, or each sardine from the table, you immediately replace it with another. So for example, if player one had taken this blue sardine, they flip over a new card and now they're able to choose another sardine from the table. So let's say player one takes that sardine, then that one would be immediately replenished from the sardine deck and then it will be the next player's turn. Now I want you to keep in mind that there is a six card hand limit so if let's say a player had this many cards which is one two three four five six seven at the end of their turn then they would have to discard one of their cards to the sardine discard pile being that you only have a six hand card limit. if you are ever to replenish the deck let's say i have taken this card into my hand if you have to replenish and there are no cards on the sardine deck to replenish the one just taken, you shuffle the discard pile and make a new deck and then replenish it right afterwards. In order to complete an order, the player has to discard the right amount and right colored sardines in order to complete that card. For example, this one here has two blue sardines and two pink sardines. So in order for the player to complete th this order, they have to discard two blue sardines and two pink sardines into the discard pile. As you can see, this player has a card with two blue sardines and 
two pink sardines, which means they're able to complete that card. So the pair is going to discard these two cards into the discard pile and then take the completed order card and place it face down in front of them for scoring at the end of the game. These are kept secret to the other players until the end of the game, but you may look at them freely. Once an order is completed, you put a new one in its place. As you can see, the order cards have a number in the center of the card. That is the amount of recognition that you would receive by completing that order. The more sardines required to complete an order, the more points you get. In sardines, there are four colors of sardines that you can get. There's green, orange, pink, and blue. But you'll find six different types of colors when it comes to fulfilling orders. You'll find the standard blue, orange, pink, and green orders to fulfill. But you might also see order cards with a white fish that have different colored fins or fully white fish. In order to fulfill a card with all white fish, it means you can use any color to, to complete this order, but the sardines in this order all have to be of the same color. For example, you could use two pink sardines to complete this order. When you see a white fish with multi-colored fins, this means that you can fulfill the order by discarding differently colored fish. For example, in this one, you could discard a orange, pink, or green. So each of the sardines that you discard have to be of a different color. There may be a case where you may have to overpay in order to complete a order. For example, this one here needs three differently colored sardines to complete. I have one pink, one blue, and two orange, but I do have three different colors, so I can still complete this order, but I am discarding an extra sardine. You don't get any change for that, okay? And like I said before, once you complete an order, you replenish it with a new order card from the top of the deck. And the players continue taking turns clockwise, either gathering fish or completing orders until the game end triggers. The end of the game triggers when a player completes an order and then places the last card from the sardine order deck face up on the table. So once that happens, when there are no more cards left on the sardine order deck, then that triggers the end of the game. Each player, including the player that triggered the end of the game, gets one more turn to try to complete an order. Once each player has taken that final turn, you proceed to scoring. Once the game is finished, each player tallies up their recognition points to see who won. So for example, two plus six is eight, plus four is 12, plus four is 16. This player would have 16 points. After each player tallies their points, the player with the most recognition points wins. If there is still a tie, the player with the most orders wins. For example, this player has four completed orders. If there is still a tie, the player with the most sardines in hand wins. If there is still a tie after that, then the youngest player wins.